I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie yeah. because mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. It, we were told girls and boys can both identify with a male lead, but yeah. boys cannot identify with a female lead. Oh, absolutely. And it just makes me so happy every single time I see a movie come out that just blows through every single one of those beliefs and proves that it is just a lie to yeah. keep certain people out of the movies, to keep certain people in the same positions that they've always been in. I'm sorry, what? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my tomb. As you can see, I am a ventriloquist, guys. Because apparently, the program I use for making videos decided to F me. So, yeah, my Tolkien avatar is not working. Uh, I'll try and have it fixed for the next video, but for now, this is what we've got. So, yeah. It's me, it's your favorite ventriloquist mummy on the internet. But let's get down to business. Apparently, guys, uh, Jennifer Lawrence said recently that she was the first female lead in an action movie. And I couldn't but laugh in Linda Hamilton. Then she went on and apologized everywhere, saying that she didn't mean that, even though she did, and even though the other woman agreed with her statement. Let's watch that again. I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. Yeah because it wouldn't work. We were told girls and boys can both identify with a male lead, but yeah. boys cannot identify with a female lead. Oh, absolutely. And it just... I love how Jennifer says something absolutely dumb, and this other woman is like, yeah, 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 absolutely, undoubtedly. Now, I don't know if someone forced Jennifer to say this, but you could have just apologized, you know? You could have just said, look, I said something stupid. I take it back. Instead, you're trying to say you didn't mean something that you totally did. Let's take a look, gentlemen, shall we, at famous females in movies. So, we've got Sarah Connor from Terminator, Ellen Ripley from Alien, Princess Leia from Star Wars. And though, in this case, Leia wasn't the lead, but she was a really crucial and important character in all of the movies. So, to answer the question, to answer the statement that boys can't identify with a female, oh no, everyone likes these characters and everyone can relate to them. And do you know what is the reason that people love these legendary characters? The reason is that the writers emphasized on the struggles these characters had, and not on the genitals they had under their pants. Sarah Connor went from being a timid victim of circumstance into a strong survivor, a mother, a fighter for her own destiny. Ellen Ripley was a normal, average worker in a boring job, but she had to face her fears, improve herself, and reach the limit of her own mental and physical capabilities in order to, sur to survive an alien. These characters had weakness. They feared. They were not ready. They were uncertain, but motivated and push themselves to the limit. And this is why people like them, because both men and women can relate to being weak and having to overcome problems and difficulties. You know, this is what life is about. And so gender doesn't matter in this sense. On the other hand, the type of modern female characters we have in most movies nowadays are Mary Sue's. They are flawless gods descended from heaven to punish the middle-aged white man villain of the story. They are written without flaws, without problems to overcome, without mentor teachers, without, without anything of that. Why? Because you go, girl. Because womanism. Because women are modern and independent and they don't need no man. And this is why, quote unquote, boys don't relate to female leads. No one relates to them. Let me give you an example with... Uh, Princess Leia and Rey Shitwalker from Star Wars. And I'm not even gonna call her Skywalker because it is an abomination to the Skywalker bloodline. So on one hand you have Princess Leia. She was really intelligent, really smart. 
he led the resistance. She wasn't physically strong, or she didn't use the force. But she was crucial for the movies. Her strengths relied on her leadership. But yet she was captured. She needed help from others. She was vulnerable. She was frightened and insecure just like anybody else. She was human and people could relate to her and to her emotions and praise her for her accomplishments. But then you have Ray Soywalker, who from the first movie was already excellent with the force. She was agile and smart and she understood many languages, and she was good with the blaster, and good on hand-on-hand -on -hand combat, and good with the saber, and good with, good with the force, and good at repairing, and she didn't need no mentor, because everywhere she went, she, de she defeated everyone, succeeded. Everybody in the movie liked her, and needed her, and worshipped her, and in the first movie she appeared, she already defeated the bad guy. It's like, what the hell, man? Who can relate? To that NPC that just succeeds at everything and is perfect. Humans are not like that. And this is the idea that woke movie producers have of women. That they have to be as perfect uh, as possible. And that they can't show any weaknesses. You know, as Johnny Massacre says, It's a woman. Shh. Shh. Be very careful. Women have to be shown as perfect the whole time don't hurt her feelings women can't be shown to have any faults at all thank you johnny this is why not only men but women as well don't relate and don't like the females we are presented in modern movies because they are poorly written and because they follow the stupid womanist agenda guys i was planning uh a few days a few weeks back actually to to cover on the channel um, this series, what was it? The, the she who series, you know? Because it's the reincarnation of modern toxic femininity. Uh, not femininity, excuse me, feminism. Like, feminism doesn't have anything to do with femininity. It's like the opposite. So yeah, I was, I was planning to cover that, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Honestly, guys, like, I think it would have been perfect content for the channel. I think you, might, you guys might, might have enjoyed it, but I just couldn't bring myself to cover that. So... <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, every YouTuber has covered it, so, you know, it's not like there is lack of material for that. But anyways, another thing I, I wanted to talk about is the difference between male and female roles in movies. You know, the reason why males are usually the lead in movies is because movies are about war, politics, mafias, cars. They're not about kitchens and making a sandwich, you know? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. But jokes aside, you know, let's take Thor, for example. The mighty god of thunder. It will be fitting to cast Chris Hemsworth for this role, wouldn't it? He's jacked, he's manly, he's strong, He is the god of thunder. And then they removed that ball of raw testosterone, and they cast Natalie Portman to do the job. And no disrespect to Natalie, I mean, I really appreciate her as an actress, but, you know... She spent 10 months building up muscle, plus they made her taller with CGI, just so she can look like this. You know, you see the difference? Not every role in a movie is, you know, is ideal for both genders. Men usually take up the role of a strong individual who relies on his sheer role power. And even though there have been macho man roles, um, filled by women, to a successful degree, it's not the usual. So, you know, let's talk about Black Widow, for example. What differentiates here, uh, excuse me, what differentiates her from the other Avengers is her grace, her elegance, her agility, and yes, her attractiveness. She doesn't have the muscles of Captain America, nor the technology of Tony Stark, but what she has is stealth, cunningness, acuity. This is what men like and what women should look up to. Because let's face it, the genders are different and they strive in different situations. Black Widow uses her advantages and she weaponizes her looks to get her out of tough situations. She doesn't need to win an arm wrestle with Hulk to be a good character. This is what makes her likable, that she is different. She has a different set of skills and tools to be efficient. And this is what woke producers don't understand. They take a woman, strip all the femininity out of her, 
turn her into an emotionless macho man Mary Sue and expect people to like her. And I'll give you another example with Galadriel. In the Lord of the Rings, uh, she was royalty. She was wise and tactical. She had extreme power, but she didn't rely on that. She didn't use that power to arm wrestle with orcs. She was clever. She was of support to the main heroes. And without her, they wouldn't have been successful in their mission. In the Rings of Power series, however, we have the new modern and independent I don't need no man Galadriel. She wears armor and a sword or axes in both hands, and she just slays orcs left, right, and center. And she's a berserker and gah, I'll slay you and drink your blood from your skull type of woman. And all that crap, where essentially she's just a stupid barbarian that relies on strength and nothing more. Man, she's a five foot story girl, and you see her fighting orcs and going one versus five against six foot men. It's just stupid writing. It's modern womanism too horned into movies because we can't have women show any weakness. We can't have women uh, in need, you know, needing men. We can't have women take a supportive role or use agility and beauty as weapons. No, we need a masculinized woman that is a pale discount imitation of a man because that is empowering. This is why female heroes suck in modern movies because of the disgusting feminist agenda that is shoved down the throats of the people watching movies. So, I hope that answers your question of why people don't relate to female characters anymore. But with that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.